All right, and welcome back to my series, The Dirty Bulk Experiment. We're on day nine right now. So just trying to get in all the food I can while I'm off in London and just uh, keep the weight up. So we're still going up. We're 237.1 pounds now. Uh, this is kind of an old footage. I had this food again, but I forgot to film it in the morning. Back to the buffet. Had my uh, one of my new favorite bulking breakfasts. Uh, six total pancakes. So I do this meal twice, what you're seeing on the plate. Four eggs, a banger, two bangers, and six pancakes. Uh, and then a uh, couple cups of milk and then some coffee. So this one definitely slams down the calories uh, for me a bunch. But then uh, later in the day, I'm pretty, pretty full, pretty distended, and it's tougher to get the meals in. But uh, I was just hungry today, so I decided to go for it. Plus, it's uh, definitely the best bang for your buck when you got a buffet. Always uh, try to take advantage of that. Uh-oh, what do we got here? We're back at the uh, Gourmet Burger Kitchen. I really like this chain in uh, London, and I'm eating the Mighty. The Mighty is a, a big burger, two six-ounce patties, and uh, the calories are off the charts on this just for a burger. Lots of fat in it, 1,328 calories, carbs 52, protein 87, and like over 90 grams of fat. Didn't have any French fries with this. Uh, still feeling pretty full from the breakfast and had a bunch of carbs there, uh, but this was, this, this is just a delicious thing and it's real easy to eat when you have the stuff that's really calorie dense lots of fat you can really uh eat it a lot easier and then we're back off to the little mini mart grabbing my my little pre-workout snack that i like to have i have half before half after these uh porridge to go bars are freaking I, I didn't like them at the start but now they're awesome and i'm trying all the different flavors of these protein grenade carb killers uh, my favorite's the cookie dough so far so uh, I've tried the birthday cake. I didn't like that. The, the cookie dough is definitely the one you want to go with. Trust me. And then it was gym time. Uh, just hitting a couple poses here, showing off the back. Uh, felt really good. You kind of walk a fine line when you're eating this much. If you eat too close to your workout or have too much food sitting in your stomach, then uh, you don't get the, the, the blood just traps in your stomach. It doesn't get out to the muscles as much. But it's feeling good today, feeling really full, feeling really pumped, and uh, had a good workout. Sometimes eating way too much, uh, your workout you feel sluggish not that great and then my favorite uh, london bulking item fish and chips gotta get it in Oh man, I really started to like these fish and chips places in London. They're just they're just off the hook. I really really like them a lot. And I came back to Canada and I had a little just a hankering for them, and they're just just not the same. Anyways, this might be an underestimation of the total calories at 850. This felt way 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 harder to eat than uh, that mighty burger from uh, Gourmet Burger Kitchen. But also it's later in the day, and I've had a bunch of food, and this had a bunch of carbs. And I think for me personally. Things that have a bunch more carbs are a lot harder to eat than the things that are just really fatty. That's and then we're off for the final meal of the day with the fam, uh, Sete, a real high class uh, Italian restaurant. So they were probably really pleased uh, I was in there classing the place down in my uh, anime cowboy bebop t-shirt and ordering Brooklyn Lager IPAs instead of, you know, the expensive wines off the wine list. But uh, what are you going to do? It was delicious though. Had the... Uh, duck foie gras ravioli um, it was sinful tons of fat i don't know if those macros are right it was just pure deliciousness uh, i was pretty full at the end of the day so i only really had that uh, helped clean up some of the other people's foods but uh i was just stuffed at this point but not too stuffed to get some dessert they had some i'm not sure what it really was it was a budino so it's kind of like a espresso gelato on top of chocolate pudding type thing with hazelnuts and caramel i don't know it was delicious i'm sure i got those calories wrong underestimated them too but it was uh, just worth it if you go there definitely get those two things best two things on the menu and so let's just recap the day's entire macros we had total calories of 6889 carbs 640 protein 314 and fats were 337 uh, eating a lot like this is kind of catching up to me, but I'm still managing to keep the weight on. So if you guys want to keep watching this little dirty bulk experiment, 
hit the subscribe button and come back for more. Thanks for watching.